Finally here tonight, a man who is changing young lives step by step, teaching them confidence and manners and respect along the way. His story and their story tonight from NBC's Ann Thompson, who has our Making a Difference report. Big smile, big smile. In this classroom, math. Five, six, here we go. And geography. Hola, Dominica Republic. Are taught with a beat. But it is the intangibles of civility and respect that make ballroom dancing a requirement for fifth graders in some 200 New York City public schools and 400 more around the world. Dancing Classroom's founder, Pierre Dulaine demonstrates the theory of his program. What do they learn looking face to face that they wouldn't learn sitting next to each other in a classroom? You've just said it, face to face and having to look at each other. From the time they enter the classroom to the end of each dance. Say thank you, partner. Say thank you, partner. Politeness and fun are the standards. Here at Brooklyn's PS160, where English is a second language for 62% of the students, Principal Margaret Russo says dancing breaks down barriers. On that dance floor, we're all the same, so we're one community, and I think that's really important. It helps boys and girls through that awkward phase. Is it hard to hold a girl, Kevin? Um, later on, I get, you'll get used to it. Ballroom dancing transformed Dulane from a shy teenager to a confident professional who danced on Broadway. Now he delights in the changes he sees in the students. One particular boy was very angry, kicking everything, kicking desks, running around. He has now is the most gentle gentleman in the class. A transformation that extends beyond the dance floor. As a teacher, you can refer to that. Well, you were so elegant downstairs. Let's see that in the classroom, and it will immediately change their behavior. Are you teaching them more than steps? Much, much more. We are teaching children life lessons wrapped around ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. Learning to appreciate each other and themselves. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Brooklyn. Ann may not conduct another seated interview ever again.